Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out this video. Today we're talking about the very first day in the color page. Like the most important things for you to know, just stepping into the color page, sight unseen, so you can know what the heck is going on and what the most useful things are to know. So we aren't gonna go over everything. These are like the, the first things I would get into and start learning if you're just getting into the color page. Whew. I've had plenty of caffeine, let's go. <laughs> Here we are in the color page of DaVinci Resolve. And I guess probably the first thing you should know is how to actually get something into this page. As you may know, Resolve shares a timeline in between all of the different pages. And so whatever you have laid out in your edit page, if you just go down here and click on the color page, that will open up everything inside of color. Now this is the color interface. Anything that we have selected here is what we're actually going to end up adjusting when we mess with our color palettes down here. So the first thing that I would get into after you kind of know that basic stuff is this lift gamma and gain. Down here in the lower left hand corner of our screen, we have our primaries, which is the fancy name for the color wheels. If you're just learning color correction, this is a great place to start. There are four main sections here. Each one has a color wheel and a little slider down here, and they're named lift, gamma, gain, and offset. Easiest one to explain is offset. So if you grab the middle of this color wheel and you push it towards a color, that's going to colorize your image. It's going to add that color into the image. So if you push it towards blue, it's going to make everything blue towards kind of orangish. It makes everything kind of orangish. The offset does that for the entire image, but the lift gamma and gain split up the image into different brightnesses. So the brighter parts of the image are going to be controlled with gain. So if I want the brighter parts like these little highlights up here to be blue, I can push those towards blue and everything that's lighter in the image starts to push towards blue. Gamma is the midtones and lift is the darkest parts, the shadows. So that's really how you change the colors of things. How you change the brightness of things is this little slider down here, and they're split up the same way. Offset, if I grab this slider, this is called the master wheel. If I grab this master wheel and push it to the right, that's gonna brighten everything. If I push it to the left, it's going to darken everything. For gain, if I push it up, it's just gonna brighten mostly the brighter parts and not so much the darker parts. Gamma is the midtones, lift is the darker parts of the image. So you can do a whole lot with lift, gamma, and gain. And if you're just getting into color, open this up and start playing with it. See if you can look at the image and decide to do something like maybe taking the darker parts right here and say, okay, I wanna do something with the darker parts. I want those to look darker and a little bit blue. Then figure out how you would do that. If it's the darker parts of the image, you would go to lift. If you want them to be blue, you would push it towards blue like that. And if you want it to be darker, you take the master wheel and pull it to the left. And now these parts right here, and actually every part that is that same brightness in the image is darker and blue. Here's before and here's after. Lift, gamma, and gain. You can do a ton with that. Learn it. Next major thing you should know in the color page day one is how to adjust saturation. Down here near the primary wheels towards the bottom, we have a little slider called saturation. If you grab this and move it to the right, it's going to saturate your image. You can also use this one over here called Color Boost, and that will saturate things that are less saturated. So it kind of evens out the saturation a little more, and that can sometimes look a little bit nicer than just boosting up your saturation. It depends on the shot, but either saturation or Color Boost, play around with those. That is the main way that you can get more color into your footage. There are also fancy ways to do this with boosting color channels and everything, but that's for that's for down the road. Just stay, just stick with this. The next thing I would learn how to do, and this is really simple, is how to copy and paste a grade to something else. Let's say we play with our lift, gamma, and gain here, and we really like our image, and we want to copy that over to this other shot. The easiest way to do that is select the shot that you want to copy something to, and then mouse over the one you want to copy something from, and middle button mouse click. That means click down on the scroll wheel and that will copy the color grade over to that other shot. If that's a problem for whatever reason, if you have a laptop or a mouse that doesn't do that, you can right click on the shot and say apply grade. That works too. That said, if you don't have a middle button on your mouse and you want to work with Resolve, you should buy a middle button mouse. It is pretty much essential for working with Resolve. Just buy one. They're not that expensive. Go to the second hand store and get one. They've been around for 30 years. The next major thing you should learn in the DaVinci Resolve color page is scopes. In the lower right hand corner here, if you click this little button, that will bring up your scopes. It may or may not look like this, 
but I have a whole video on scopes. You need to watch that video and learn how to use scopes because scopes are basically a way to tell what your image looks like technically. So like technically how bright things actually are, what color things actually are, not just how it looks on your monitor. This is really, really important for color correction, especially stuff like judging contrast, because you might have a monitor that has really deep blacks and just looks really poppy all the time. And if you color correct stuff to look really poppy on your monitor, it might not actually have enough contrast and somebody with a non contrasty monitor could look at it and it won't look as good. Scopes are a way to tell no matter what, where things are in the signal range. Very, very important. There's a ton to go over in the color page, but focus on that day one. If you haven't ever done color before, if you're just jumping into the color page, play with the lift gamma and gain, boost some saturation in, copy and paste some color grades and learn how to use scopes. Very important stuff. Here's a link to the scopes video, just in case you're lazy and you don't want to just click on the link in the description. It's right there here. Here it is here that and buy this mouse, literally go and buy this exact mouse. Okay. This is the mouse you need. This is the greatest tool for DaVinci Resolve right here. I promise you, you could get a 30 pack. If you really want to be good at DaVinci Resolve, get 30 mice.